What up, nerds? Today's topic, jiu-jitsu after 30. Should you even consider doing that to your body? I don't know. Should you? We'll find out. I understand you will be scared to start something new. But you're probably here because something happened in your life that you want to do differently, right? You want to change something in your life. You're at a point in your life, maybe, I don't know what, something super random here. You're... Either overweight, out of shape, maybe you're divorced, maybe you need a hobby, maybe you're just freaking bored. I don't know. But there's a point in your life where now you're over 30 and you're just not the same anymore. It's a fact. You know, after 30, you know, you tend to not heal as quickly as you did when you were 18 or 21. So you reach the point, you're all time low, and you're thinking to yourself, should I even start this crazy jujitsu stuff? Now, how did you actually find jiu-jitsu? I don't know. Maybe you're a UFC fan. You've been watching some MMA stuff or some jiu-jitsu fights. And you're like, oh, that looks interesting. Maybe I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Or maybe I can't. And I don't know. A little long down the road, you just thought about it. And here you are today in your life, fed up and wanting to try something completely new. Before we get into all the good stuff, stick around till the end. And I'll give you the honest pros and cons of jiu-jitsu just my honest opinion about the whole experience of jiu-jitsu and if it's for you really so stick around and find and judge for yourself and if you're still tuning in i just want to take a little moment to say thank you very much for listening to my crazy crazy speech here i still got more to say but i just want to say thank you very much and please please people Try and give my page a like and subscribe to this channel. It will really, really, really help me out a lot. I love you. That was awkward. I don't like asking people to like and subscribe to my channel, but apparently it works. So thank you for that. Before starting or thinking about starting Jitsu, you're going to run into some theories of yours, of course, because as soon as we get this excitement or we want to try something new, we try to automatically stop ourselves from trying anything new because, you know, we, we just want to live... Nice and cuddle up on a couch with a nice blankie and just watch Netflix and be lazy the whole rest of your life. And of course, the typical questions you can probably ask yourself is, if I do this, will I get hurt? Or will I end up in the hospital? Or will it just make things worse? Well, let me tell you what. The way I see it is, if you don't do anything, you're going to make things worse. So just lay there continue being weak, tired, just miserable, just doing nothing. How many Netflix shows can you really watch in a day or in a year? There's going to be a point where you're just going to get fed up and, you know, whatever fears you have, whatever doubts you have, you have to get over them. It's just, it's not worth it anymore. Just get up off your ass and just do something, really. Okay, you're 30 years old, over 30. 40, 50, whatever it is. Here's the big thing. When you're 30, 40, 50, whatever age you are, things are different. I'm not talking about strength-wise, recovery, and all that stuff. I'm talking about your overall life. See, when you're 18 or 21, or even as, let's go to 25, your responsibilities are what? What are they really? Pay your iPhone? Go to school? You ain't paying no house. Maybe you're paying your car. Maybe you just got a car. What real stress do you have? What real responsibilities do you have at that age? Nothing. So clearly when you're younger, you have a lot more free time. So being over 30, things might be different. So you might be married. You might have some kids. You might not have kids. You might not be married. You might just have a busy job or working 40 plus hours a week. Life happens, or as they say, shit happens. It's just, it's understandable. You, you can't be trained every day. I can't. I wish I could. Not because of the recovery time and all that stuff, and the, me being scared and healing and all that. It's just because I don't have the luxury of training every day. I wish I could. But, see, that being said, just because I don't have the luxury of training every day, doesn't mean I can't train at all. So, of course, people who are younger, 18 years old, with more free time, might train four times a week, five times, or every day. 
or as someone who's over 30, has a job, married, or kids, whatever the reason may be. You might be only able to train once a week. But even that one time is a huge difference because the average person is doing this. This. Nothing. No exercise. And what's scary is that a lot of people, most people, have a sitting job at their desk. Imagine being on your ass the whole day and the only time you really get up your exercise is going to the bathroom or going on a little lunch break. See, I fell into that trap and that's what hurt me the most is not doing anything for my body. Just sitting down, becoming this, I don't know what you want to call it, a a vegetable, you know, just like laying there, melting away, doing nothing. I gained weight. I gained all my muscles I had as a kid were gone. My strength was gone. My motivation was gone. My discipline, everything was just gone just by living an ordinary life and sitting there and just going to work, do my job. And nothing outside of work. What's up, everyone? BGJ Tech Nerd here. Special shout out to the boys at X Marshall who provide me such amazing jujitsu gear, gear that lasts. I have gear that's over two years old and still fantastic. And to the good folks at Higher Health Canada and USA who make amazing grass fed beef, liver, all that good stuff right here in Canada and the good old USA. Local farming, this is my vitamin. If you think about buying any rash guards or products from Higher Health Canada, use my special code right here BGJ Tech Nerd. That's BGJ Tech Nerd. Works on both sites. But now, where were we? Yes, we are at the part where. After all this thinking, processing of whatever you're going through in your life, you're going to say, well, I'm just unhappy. I'm unhappy. What the hell have I done to myself? I had this massive roadblock in my life, and now I'm like, okay, I have to do something. I am killing myself here, people. I remember I was. For some of you that know, I had a bad back problem. I couldn't even put my socks on for six months. And I needed help to put my socks on. I reached a, a, the lowest of the low. Couldn't put my socks on. Took me forever to cross the street once I started going back to work. 30 second light. When that 30 second passed, I was still, I was like three quarters of the way there. I could have been easily mugged. Someone could kick my ass. Anyone could kick my ass. A little girl, six years old, could kick my ass. Scary times. My mind was going through some weird times to be honest i just didn't know what to do anymore and all i knew is i had to do make a change in my life so what did i do next well i just started researching training and all that stuff and lo and behold this jujitsu stuff just found me really i didn't know i watched ufc but i was like i'm gonna learn mma and all that crap i'm like let me just try something new i used to train used to lift weights but i'm like okay let's try something completely different Let's really shock my body and, you know, put me to the test. And I did. I, I tried boxing. Boxing was cool. I want to learn how to hit someone. Or try not get hit, at least. And lo and behold, those creepy people in the back with spandex and geese sweating and strangling got me interested. So, regardless if you want to do jiu-jitsu or not, there's going to be a certain point where you're like, okay, I had enough with this. I need to change something in my life. Let's do it. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. The truth of jujitsu. The positive and the negative. Right here. Oopsie daisy. Let's say right here. Negative of jujitsu. Well, the negative things of jujitsu is, well, no matter what in life, whenever you try something new, you are going to be scared shitless. Or you may think you're really good at it, and you're not. And you get a rude awakening. You get what they call in jiu-jitsu or any sport. You get humbled very fast. So you're going to be scared. That's normal. I know I was scared, but I thought I was relatively strong back then. But I can probably handle it. I was wrong. I got choked, I don't know, freaking 30 times. It happened. And the thing is, what's what's also negative is you're going to remain the same mental and physical shape if you if you don't do anything new to yourself. Like if you don't like train. I can't picture myself. I guess this is because maybe now 
or back then one her else's dad and I got hurt I'm like what kind of example am I to my wife to my newborn son at the time like I can't just be a this weak guy who can't I don't know, play games or play catch or whatever sport with my son I can't be a freaking handicap <sighs> yeah it was pretty bad and I think the negative side is if you don't try anything new and like no physical activity you're gonna end up down this spiral of pain and regret and depression and you start questioning things about your life and that's exactly what happened to me so there was a time where I felt like, oh, super fast in school. I was like the strong guy in school because I used to be very athletic. And I used to actually be one of the few that used to train really heavy at school. So my mind was always like, oh, I'm still this strong guy. And I'm not. When I started Jiu-Jitsu, I'm not strong anymore. I got hurt. And now I'm not as flexible as I used to be. And I think the biggest thing is you're going to have a hard time believing in yourself if you don't do something about it anymore. It's either you'll stay the way you are, this average person, or you try something new and just start believing yourself again. Because you know what? You could accomplish great things even after 30 years old. You know, you ain't old yet. They have this joke that after 30, it's downhill for me. Those are people who are just fucking negative in their life. And they want to keep you down. Negative people will keep you down at all means. Don't listen to those people. The best advice I can ever give is just... Whatever your heart tells you, that's true. As cliche as it sounds, you have to believe in yourself because that is one of the hardest things to do is to believe in yourself because I didn't believe in myself for the longest time. I thought I couldn't be flexible, I couldn't be strong, and I couldn't be none of this. And that is the negative thing about starting something new. But you can do it. You can do it. What is the positive side of all this? Well, the positive is after a while, when you go into this phase of you not believing in yourself, and you're strong enough to go in there every day, almost every day, or every class you can have time to go is, you're gonna start slowly but surely believing in yourself. Not after a week, not after a month. It takes time. But lo and behold, two, three months, you're gonna start seeing some little changes in your life. And I can guarantee you, if you do at least jiu-jitsu for three months, and a new person walks in, you are going to have the upper hand on that new person because he's going to go through the same phase like you did. That fear, will I be good enough? All that stuff. And that's when you start realizing that small little victory. It can be either you just pass his guard or you maybe choke him out. Something's going to happen that's going to trigger you to say, holy shit, I see improvement. Of course, you'll probably still get choked out by more higher belts, but that's not the point. You're going to have a hard time for the first year. It's like a norm thing for jujitsu. But here's the thing. You're going to suck a little bit less. And eventually, I guarantee you, you're going to catch up and people are going to start noticing these changes. And then the surprise is people are starting telling you, for me, what the biggest motivation was, Hey, Marco, good job today. Hey, Marco, you passed my guard. Hey, Marco, nice finish. Nice. You improved a lot. These, whenever I get stuff like that from either the coach or other higher belts, it motivates me. And it's at a certain point where, listen, I'm not a world champion. I'm just an average, I'm just a non-average dad doing jiu-jitsu, trying to be the best version of myself. But when I'm doing rounds and I'm not being choked out or I'm not having the upper hand or I'm on full mouth or whatever the position may be, I'm having, I'm just, I believe myself. I started somewhere to get to this point, right? So it's possible. Even like now, guys, I am 37, going to be 38 in May. I know it's a bit far from now, but I'm 37. I see most 37-year-olds out there, people over 30, and it's frightening. And that's the whole point of this video. I want people, I want to light a fire up up everyone's ass and, you know, start something. I know it's jiu-jitsu based, I love jiu-jitsu, but you have to start something. I don't care what it is, people. Tennis, whatever. Just move your ass. And it's the hard work will pay off. And that's the real positive stuff about trying something new or trying jiu-jitsu or whatever it is. After a while, the time you put in, let's call it an investment on yourself. Not on, you know, wasting money on cars and all this shit. Who cares if you can afford it or not. Really make a proper investment in yourself. I'm talking about training eating healthier, resting properly, you know, all this stuff because it's going to pay off so much in the end. 
I never thought I would be able to do jiu-jitsu, and I did jiu-jitsu. I thought I would never be able to do a competition, and I did one, and I had fun. And I'm not stopping there, because I'm believing in myself more. So that is the the best advice I can give. Even though you're over 30, it's never too late, people. Never too late. I've seen competitions, people in their 70s competing. That is amazing. Maybe even old guys saw me on Instagram or Facebook. Like, what is the excuse? I've seen people at the gym who have, no, two kids, three kids. And people use excuses. They use the kids as excuses. Oh, I have, you know, two, three kids. So what, man? You could still go once a week. Like, there's always going to be time to go and train and do something different. You can't use the excuse of work and, you know, kids and all that stuff. It's bullshit. You just want to be comfortable and sit on your couch. Well, get off your couch. Because if you don't invest now, you're going to pay later. It scares me to see people, elderly people. Well, they're not really elderly. They're just in their 50s and their 60s, and that's not even old. I know they're paying the price. Bad choices in life. Smoking. Not exercise. Not even going for basic walks. Not moving. Invest in yourself regardless of your age. 30, 40, 50. Who gives a shit how old you are? Yeah, you might get hurt once in a while here and there, but you'll feel more pain in the years to come. If you don't go through the little pains now. Wow, that sounds good. I think it sounds good. Well, I'm not here to motivate. I'm just here to educate if I could. Trust me, I'm, I'm no one special. But I did something. I did something different. It's scary. It was scary. Now I just love the pain and the, the whole... And I became this crazy dad now. I just love it. I love all of it. The community. Everything. Invest in yourself, people. You owe it to yourself. All right. That's my spiel for today. Have a good one, guys and girls. Os.